I could have died. I'm starting this vlog out like this. I could have died. Why could I have died? This isn't just a clickbait thing. So uh, to give you an update on what's going on with me, uh, I recently had my appendix removed. Um, I was having some pains, the, the, the most severe pains of my entire life, and it was sort of an ongoing thing. I know a lot of you guys know that I had my appendix removed, but here's the thing. Um, before I had my appendix removed, um, I was diagnosed with IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. It's kind of like a, you know, an, an umbrella thing for basically saying, I don't know what's wrong with you, but we're just going to say you have angry bowels, <laughs> you know? Um, and, and, that, and that was no fun. Um, I, every time I would drink water, I would feel slightly sick. So not like I was going to throw up, but just like, oh gosh, like bloated weirdly and just never, never felt good. I never felt good. Um, I, I could never eat food without the fear of like having to run to a restroom or, um, uh, farting too much. I would, I wouldn't ever eat food at business meetings. I, I never eat food around friends or family. Um, without them knowing that, hey, I might have to ditch out for a minute. Um, and it, it got so bad to the point where like, any time I would have any foods, there was a chance that I would have a legit panic attack. Now, if you've never had a panic attack, they are terrible, they're, they're crippling. Basically, it's, it's like chemicals are going through your body that are giving, that, giving you that flight or fight um, feeling. Um, it's very rare, and I'm sure not a lot of you've had it, but to explain it, imagine feeling like like you're going to die. Like you, you think you're having a heart attack. You, you don't feel pain, but your brain is telling you that you are, and, and you feel like you're going to die. And then everything around you feels like you're out of body, and you feel like you're on some weird drugs, like somebody slipped you something, and it's just super scary. And, and you, your, your heart starts racing and you just, you just have to like tell yourself, no, everything's fine. And that's the only way to get out of it. It's time and, and relaxation. And it's hard to relax when you feel like you're dying. Anyway, um, so all of that was happening, but I would have these pains. This has all been happening to me for the last 10, maybe 15 years. But every year and a half or so, I would have this pain that would last from like 10 p.m. until like, you know, 4 to 6 a.m. Like it would be an all night thing and I would be hurting so bad in the stomach. I thought, oh my gosh, I, I just, it, it felt like somebody put a knife in my gut and just twisted and I thought it was gas. Now here's how I could have died. This is for real and now I feel so bad about doing this video that I did, but this before this one. Um, when I was having that pain, I thought it was gas. It feels like gas. It feels like 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 your your something in your stomach is just like expanded so much that it hurts. And so then what I used to do is I used to like basically go like this and I would I would try to push up on a counter or something, you know, just to try to like push the gas down so that I wouldn't, you know, so that I could pass it or whatever. I could have died because that was my appendix that was getting ready to burst. I don't know if you know what that means, but imagine this, the appendix. It's just this little dangly thing that hangs off. Uh, so, so you have your small intestines that run through your body after your stomach. So stomach, small intestines, and then at the, ba the bottom of the small intestines, then it goes to your large intestines. And when there's that intersection between the small intestines and the large uh, intestines, large intestines being like this, there's a little dangly thing that comes down like that. That's your appendix really serves no point. Uh, well, maybe it does, but we don't know what it really does, but it can do some things to you. And it did things to me anyway. So what was happening was maybe blockage would get into the entryway of that appendix or something. I don't know, but it would expand and it would get really big inside my gut. And if it gets to the point where it can't hold all that blood and it's not even blood, it's, I think it's like I think it's legitimately like pus or something gross like that. Um, but it gets so infected that it can actually explode. It can rupture. And when it does that, then it sends all that nasty stuff into your body. So basically, uh, is it called sepsis? I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically 
you got nasty stuff in your body that shouldn't be there and it's going to infect all of the rest of your inside of your body um, because it gets out. So when that happens, you have a very short window to get cleaned and it takes a long time to, uh, to fix. I don't know the details of it because that I, I, I didn't have that happen. But because I was pushing against a counter like that, because I thought it was gas and I was doing that, I was so close to rupturing it that I could have killed myself. And I feel bad about, about making a video because I made this video that was called How to Get Rid of Trapped Gas. Now it works. It does get rid of trapped gas. Like if you feel like you have that, but it's not like a 10 out of 10 pain, maybe it's like a five. And you're like, man, I, I just got to, you know, release. This is a good way to do it. But I was making this video for people who had the 10 out of 10 pain that I had and saying this is how to help release it. Man, I, I, I really, I genuinely hope nobody got hurt because of that video. Thankfully, I removed it like a long time ago because I felt like, man, it's kind of a pointless video. Some people said it helped them during their gas pains, but oh man, that's scary. Super scary. Anyway, I got to tell you something else about this. It's really crazy. And if you are experiencing these uh, symptoms that I was talking about, there's a chance this could be your thing too. So uh, like I said, every year and a half, I would have these extreme 10 out of 10 pains, screaming pains. I just, yeah, I, I probably should have went to the, the, the ER, but the first time I had it, I, di I, I didn't have insurance. And uh, I just wrote it out. And, uh, and then after it went away, I said, oh, it, it must have been gas. So the second time it happened, I did the same thing, wrote it out, it was fine, and I just continued to do that, which is really, really bad. Now, technically, that was appendicitis, but appendicitis, from what I'm told, um, usually doesn't go away. It stays there, and you constantly have this pain that's either like right below the belly button and slightly to the right, or just kind of, you know, moves around and stays there. For me, it was like my entire guts were just so terrible. It, it was, it was awful. But, um, yeah, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't not go to the ER if you're having 10 out of 10 pain. Like, that was really dumb of me. And I openly admit, but anyway, so, um, my other symptoms, again, I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't have any dairy. I love dairy. I absolutely do. But I haven't had the ability to have dairy without pain or gas for the last 15 years. I wasn't born lactose intolerant, but apparently since removing the appendix, I can have anything. I have had cheese. I had ice cream the other night. And honestly, I could probably count on one hand how many times I've passed gas since my surgery, which is, I think it's been about a week, which is totally crazy. So apparently something about the appendix can cause lactose intolerance and, and all sorts of food problems. And here's the thing, whenever I would have these things, anytime I would have lactose or, or, or um, you know, uh, gluten, Gluten did it too, kind of sometimes. When I were when I would have this stuff, it's like I would drink something with milk, and probably I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, boom, symptoms would start happening. I would start feeling sick. I would start, you know, like all this terrible stuff. So it was that fast. And it's not like the milk was getting all the way down through my small intestines and all this stuff to get there to it. I think what was happening, and then again, I'm not a medical professional, but I think what was happening was something about the the little, the appendix <laughs> must have been like spasming or, or having some sort of weird chemical reaction to my body trying to absorb the lactose or, or whatever it is. And so it was just putting bad stuff into my body. I, I don't know. I don't know for sure if that's like what it is, but that's the only thing I can... I can explain, but the fact that I can have anything I want now is totally nuts. And it's, oh, it's awesome that I can have anything. Oh, here's something else too. I didn't realize that I was hurting every single day. There was this pain that was like, uh, it's in the same area where my 
appendix problems were, right? But there was this pain, like if I, if, if I touched it, it wouldn't necessarily hurt. But if somebody else touched it just a little hard, like my kids, it would hurt. And it just, it, it felt so normal to me to hurt right there that it was just like touching your eye. You know not to touch your eye, but if you touch it, it's gonna sting a little bit. Cause I mean, it's it's your eye. You're not supposed to do that, right? So I just thought, oh yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to push that part of your stomach. That's gone too. And that's totally nuts. Like, man, every single time I went into the doctor, they would always like push there. And I'm, and I'm like, ugh. And they're like, hmm, interesting. But they never, it's like they never stopped to think about what that was. I just told them, yeah, I just hurt there. That's so weird. Anyway, so yeah, my appendicitis was very, very much different than anything the doctors had seen because this appendicitis lasted for as long as it did. And wow, it, I, I have to say, man, this is a life changer for me. Because now that it's gone, now that I don't have that pain anymore, and now that I can eat anything I want without worrying, road trips are so much easier. Like, I couldn't drive without, like, you're in a sitting position like this. It, it always kind of felt weird in there, and it always kind of made me feel like, blah, I never want to eat on road trips. Even when I did the cross-country tour in 2012, I was having these issues. So many things have changed and are going to change. And I feel like even my, my mentality is like, like, yes, you know, I feel like I've been given a gift of like new life. Like, like I've been given a new body and it's, it's, it's fantastic. But anyway, I had to give you this update on this. If you seem to be having any of these issues, if you have a constant pain, that's right there, talk to a doctor. Of course, my situation isn't going to apply to everybody, but there's a chance that somebody watching this video out there might go, hmm, I should ask my doctor about that. And uh, you could do a colonoscopy, which is like a roto rooter up your pooter, but it, it, mine, I, I had one done because I thought maybe there was a problem, and he said, nope, it looks perfectly fine from the inside. But from the outside, it was not because my CAT scan showed it. So that's another thing to consider if you're having like severe pains and you can't find the problem, get a CAT scan. I don't know. I don't know what the cost is. I, I have insurance now. It's a, shell, a shared health plan, which is really nice. But dude, I'm so grateful now. I'm so grateful. Anyway, that's, that's, I just needed to share you, with you my story and, and how I'm feeling. I, I'm feeling amazing. I'm still healing up. Oh, you guys want to see the, the scars, the stuff? Okay. Close your eyes just for a minute. If you don't like this stuff, I'll show you right now though. So this is where they do it, right? So they basically put a really big hole here. This is where they put like this tube that goes in and that tube, <laughs> sit down now. That tube is where they put the camera in. That's where they, they fill you with gas, like a, is it nitrogen or something? It's some sort of gas that opens your, your abdomen up so that they can work in there easier without like, you know, nicking any of your other internal organs. Um, and then the two on this, um, like the one on the left side and the one underneath, those are four different tools for grabbing, for cutting, for doing all of those sort of things. And then when they finally like cut the, uh, the appendix out, they, you know, they cut, they cauterize it as they're cutting it. And then they send down like a little bag and then they put the appendix in a bag, uh, cinch it closed. And then they bring the appendix out the belly button. If you, if you're really sick like me, you can look up videos on YouTube about appendix removals and how they do that. But it's just like, ah, it's so bad. It's like, it's like one of those, uh, Dr. Pimple, pimple popper videos. I'm so glad I was sleeping for that because that looks painful and it still is kind of painful. Like, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm not a hundred percent like healed obviously, but, um, I, I feel fine. I do. And we're getting ready to go to Hawaii tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. We're going to go to Hawaii and it's going to be amazing. And I'm going to, I think I'll be able to actually swim, which is going to be super nice. Is that my password? That's not my password. Anyway.
course. That was my extra light. I was just using my laptop. Anyway, I got to get back to work. Uh, I'm shooting a kid's video today in VR. Um, it's a last minute one because I couldn't finish the other thing that I was trying to do. So, you know, this guy now is doing itsy bitsy spider. And well, unless you have kids, you don't care. So whatever, just for kids is my other YouTube channel if you want to check it out. So anyway, that's an update on me. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, be careful out there. Don't be pushing your bellies if you're hurting real bad. Because it could, you could die. So live long. <laughs> Later, guys.